हेलो एवरी वन आई डिसाइड टू मेक वीडियो फॉर एब्सोलूट एग्नर्स पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू लर्न हाउ टू क्रॉश एंड हैव नो आइडिया वेर टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सो वॉट आर द थिंग्स यू रिक्वायर टू हैव विच यू सो यू डोंट गेट स्टार्ट इन द मिडल ऑफ अ प्रोजेक्ट सो थिंग्स दैट यू रिक्वायर आर ऑब्वियसली most always the yarn comes with instructions on what type of yarn it is in case you're crocheting what should be the hook size you choose and in case you knitting what should be the needle sizes so this particular yarn i bought made in india made for the world and it's a 100% recycled cotton yarn basic 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 crochet needles or hooks you need will be between 3.5 and this is fine and not this one and yeah i totally i use between these two anyway okay so this one says we working going to work with this one this one says we require a needle a hook size of 3.5 here this is a trick okay you need needles okay let's go back we need needles we need stitch markers we need a tape sometimes fabric glue a scissor and a notebook i do be for making notes of things you are doing so you don't forget because when you starting you tend to forget you would not know what you are doing so you need to have a notebook for absolute beginners what is the first absolute first thing that you need to learn when you crochet is to learn to make a slip knot because unless you do not have this you won't be able to start any project okay okay let's go let's see if we can Do this. Now I'm going to use. Although this is the recommended needle, three point five is a recommended needle. I'm going to use a thicker needle, like the five, so you can understand how this work is done. See, I'm the uh, I usually uh, loop the thread around my this finger so that I can maintain this tension here. Some people do it like this. I really don't know how to do. Some people keep looping the thread around their needle. I don't know how they do that. I try to maintain the tension on the working yarn. by putting it around this finger let's go now we are working with slip knot how to make a slip knot slip knot is basically you make a loop hold it with your hand okay make a loop hold it with your hand put the straw pull the straw and release now we have a slip knot this is the starting point of any project whether it's a square project or it's a round project you need to make a slip knot now once again this make something round like this hold it with your hand put your hook through yarn over pull through and release Once more, 
आई डो स्टिच बिटवीन टू फिंगर जस्ट पुटिंग इट अराउंड माई टम गोइंग थ्रू लाइक दिस It's the same. Loop around this. Go through, yarn over, release, or make a loop. Hold between these two fingers. Yarn over, pull through, release. Now what happened? Okay. Now that we done with that, next is how to make. How to make a chain stitch? So what I said was this. Uh, this is the base of any. <clears throat> this is the base of any project, right? You start. You need this. Now that we have our slip knot on this hook, we will learn how to make chain stitch. Chain stitch is the foundation of any project. Usually, when you go on any YouTube video, they say make a chain of thirty, make a chain of twenty, make a chain of multiples of eight plus two. So you count how many chains you make. This is the this is not a chain yet. When we pull through it like this, now this is a chain. Okay, so this knot basically. If you remember, we made this and pull it through and did that, right? And it does. It's not as big as that. Not that we made by hand. This is already a, a created knot, and it's around the hook, so it's smaller. And it's usually the this circumference will be equal to the size, the circumference of your hook. That's why if you take a smaller hook, this, let's say for instance this, this will be very small because the circumference of this hook is that small. Okay, but when we take a big, bigger hook, the circumference increases because the hook needs to go through, right? So the circumference is big up, and now this is one chain. And I suggest for beginners to hold as you make the chain, hold it because in the process of trying to get to the next one, this becomes small, smaller than the size of this hook. So when you want to come back and work within this. This hook won't go through. It won't go through. It'll be very difficult to go through. So, when you make your chains, keep in mind. Uh, keep in mind. Oh, for the love of God! Keep in mind that you hold it after it's made. Hold it. So it does not change in size. Okay. Then make your next chain. 
all that. This is only for beginners because you are new, you need to maintain the, the consistency in the size of the chain. Okay, I'll do this and hold, do this and hold. Now what is do this? Do this is put your hook through, yarn over the working knee out, hook through the knot, the knot here, yarn over the working yarn and pull it through this stitch. Now you've got another one. This is what we do. So the size of the chains are similar. Now for somebody who knows how to crochet or is used to it, they don't need to keep holding it. They just go on going because the pressure doesn't change the holding pressure. And if it does, they immediately come to mind. You just adjust it. Adjust the size of the chains. Okay, so this is how you make a chain. Let's go from the beginning. Make your slip knot. Pull through, release. This hook through this knot. Yarn over, pull through. Hold, yarn over, pull through, hold, yarn over, pull through, hold, yarn over, pull through, hold, pull through. Now, let's go back to the recommended needle size and see how, what is the effect on this, how actually the chains should look. See? Okay, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, pull through. Hold, do not forget to hold this, otherwise your chains will become smaller and then you had it when you have to go on the next round. See the difference? I'll show you the difference. This is when you're working with a needle larger than the recommended size. This usually, this type of needle and this type of yarn is used to make something more airy, more holes, more not that compact so you won't feel that warm. Now, let's take this one for instance and do This is the recommended needle, this is the larger needle and this is the smaller needle, then the recommended size. Okay, alright. So, so sometimes we have a thin yarn, we want to have it thicker. The same color yarn, we want it to be thicker, but uh, listen, so what do we do? We triple it up like this, very simple. Make a triple, take a big hook size. Okay, hook size. Make your chain. Now see, this looks nice and tight. Now, 
this is a loop and this is a working yarn loop working yarn put your hand through the loop and pull the working yarn out extend now you have made a thick yarn for yourself with just one ball of thin yarn and to go to go to see I passed a stitch here yeah, I did one minute I want to show you that it doesn't make any difference okay this is a point where the join the loop through happened see here and when you work with that it doesn't even show it's not even visible nobody would know okay now this is a thick yarn and this is the right needle for you. you take a needle that's much bigger than this like this is a needle this is a needle let's see what happens what's the effect on this one so you see your projects will come together when you use the correct needle with the correct yarn size this is going to be too tight this is going to be more airy so these are going to this type of uh, texture is mostly used for amigurumis or making dolls and stuff this is used for making summer wear if i have a big yarn you can make this this is the size and this is the size. This is going to be really fun. And the bigger the size of the needle, the faster the project will progress. But it will also eat more yarn. That is, it will require more yarn to work. You see? Just... One, two, three, four, five, five chains. And how much yarn it is? Here, one, two, three, four, four chains. This much yarn was used. Three, four. This much yarn was used in four chains. And here, one, two, three, four. This much was used. But then again, this moves slow. This moves a little faster. This moves a little faster. So you might think that. This big needle uses more yarn, whereas in reality, this is what uses more yarn because you know gaps form. Here there are gaps in between, so thread is not being used here. Here thread is being used for every inch, every centimeter, every millimeter. Here there are some hollow spaces where yarn is not used, but then it progresses faster. All right. I think um, it should be enough for today and it's a big video I'm not sure if I can edit it all in one let's see how it goes all right um, I've got some a uh, lot of stuff to uh, go through with you guys I've written them here but uh, let's see how far I can go these are the basics that I have got uh, any um, any beginner will uh, need to know so if you all think that these are what you need to learn to start you can subscribe so that um, you can learn all right subscribe comment like share whatever physically you can do so that I can help my channel thank you very much and see you in the next bye